everyone, my name is Sophie. I'm super excited to have you here with me today as we clean my entire apartment. I'm gonna be working through my kitchen, my living room, my bedroom, and my bathroom, doing some laundry, cleaning all the surfaces, cleaning mirrors, cleaning the floors, including sweeping and mopping them. So this is kind of everything that I do to make my apartment feel like it's reset and totally fresh. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned because there's a lot of cleaning motivation to come. When I have a big day of cleaning ahead of me, the first room that I start with is the easiest one. That way I can check something off of my list right off the bat and feel motivated to keep cleaning the rest of the day. My living room is the easiest for me. All I need to do is fold the blankets, fluff the pillows, and a few more things, and that room is done. After I finish with the living room, I'm gonna head to my bed, which is another thing I like to do first, because I don't have to make my bed. I just strip the sheets, and I'm gonna throw them in the wash. I bring some stain remover into my bedroom with me when I strip my sheets just because sometimes I'm not so great about getting all of my makeup off and I definitely find a couple of little mascara marks or something like that on my pillowcases so it's easier for me to do it while it's still flat on my bed and it gives it a moment to kind of pre-treat before I throw it in the wash. easy task on my list is to clean off the kitchen table. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down with some glass cleaner and throw the centerpiece back on. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. While I have my glass cleaner handy, I'm just gonna pop over real quick and clean this mirror. It's what you do in this making me feel like I'm falling. Right along through my apartment next up is the kitchen and I'm gonna share in a few minutes with you guys the recipe that I have cooking in the crock pot but I'm not planning on doing a lot of cooking today so I know it's safe to clean the kitchen and it's gonna stay that way at least for a little bit and then I can't forget to light a candle while I'm cleaning I love the feeling of a fresh space and a candle burning or some essential oils going in one of my diffusers it just makes the space feel so calm and so clean. I absolutely love it.
Whenever I really want to make sure my sink is as clean as possible, I use my own sink cleaner. And I've shared this link with you guys before, but I'll make sure to leave it in the description box below as well. But it's just a mix of baking soda and essential oils. Then I put a couple of dots of dish soap in both sides of my sink, sprinkle the sink cleaner, and scrub away. My duvet cover is done being washed and it's ready to go into the dryer. So I'm going to head back into my bedroom and grab some more of my bedding and stick the second load in. stretch of my apartment I am ready to sweep and mop the floors so a big tip is always to make sure that you clean off your surfaces first so like your kitchen table your kitchen counters all of those things in case when you're cleaning you get any dust or debris or anything like that on the floor then you can sweep it up if you go the opposite direction and sweep first and then clean off your countertops you might have a couple extra crumbs on the ground so I'm going to start at the way back corner and sweep all the way across my apartment when I'm doing my daily sweeping I usually just just leave my chairs and table in place and kind of sweep around them to get any crumbs that may have fallen through the day. But since this is more of a deep clean, I'm going to move all of my chairs out of the way so I can properly sweep. And since I'm mopping, it really helps to have those chairs out of the way. So you can probably see the orange grooves in the dustpan, which is one of my favorite features about this set. When you bring the broom through those grooves, it'll pull off any debris that gets caught in the bristles.
time to mop. I use a spin mop, so I'm just gonna fill it up with some extra hot water and bring the bucket over along with my squirt mop that I get from Target. For my kitchen floors and the main floors in my living room area, I use the almond scent for wood. And then in my bathroom, I use the spearmint scent. clean out the mop one last time to get all of the dirt out and then spin it dry so I don't have to hang up a wet mop. Then I'm going to empty the mop bucket out in the sink. everything clean and in its place in my main living room area it's time to check on lunch because there's one hour left in my crock pot meal and that means it's time to toss in some veggies and make some homemade dumplings so the meal that i made for lunch was a crock pot chicken and dumplings and oh my gosh was it good i have never made dumplings from scratch but it was super easy and this meal was delicious i'll leave a link in the description box below to the recipe i used for the soup base as well as the recipe that i used for the dumplings and if you guys give it a try i would love to see your photos on instagram and make sure to tag me so i can see how it turned out since laundry is never ending it is time for the third load that is part of my bedding so usually when I wash my bedding it's just two loads but because this is a deep clean again I'm throwing three loads in because I'm doing all of my shams and thick blankets and really everything that goes on my bed which I probably do only once a month I've learned from experience with a duvet cover if I wash that first not to throw it in a ball on my bed but to try and lay it out just a little bit so it's not covered in wrinkles when it's finally time to make my bed you think that you're in over your head now I'm done talking this time I might go out with my friends next up is the bathroom and i know cleaning the bathroom is probably a lot of your least favorite areas to clean but if you have the right tools it's really not that bad so i think i've finally gotten it down to a little bit of a science and cleaning the bathroom really isn't that bad anymore So easy, 
But now I can't even get through to your mind Cause you don't wanna listen I know everything about you Like it's hard for you to be true, oh Funny how it changed in a matter of time Phone is ringing, always at a bad time Every time you flash your name Always leaving, then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame Okay, so talking about some of those tools and products that make cleaning the bathroom a little bit easier and a little more enjoyable for me, I would definitely throw in the Scrub Daddy Sponge and Magic Eraser for the tub and shower. Those two will get the whole job done and you won't have to work too hard for it. With the cleaning solution, I've been using the Method Daily Shower Cleaner for probably a year or two at this point and love the smell of it and don't have to use too much elbow grease to get the job done. So usually I would clean the inside of the toilet bowl when I'm doing a deep clean like this, of course, but I had actually just cleaned it the day before. So I'm just going to deal with the outside at this point and I'm using a disinfectant cleaner. Don't forget whenever you use a disinfectant to make sure it actually disinfects, you need to read the label. So for mine, I need to spray it and let it sit for a full minute before I wipe it down. Now that wasn't so bad. Now that the bathroom's done, I'm heading into my bedroom and I'm gonna clean off some of the wood surfaces while the laundry continues to go and stuff a few of my sham pillows. The 
last load of bedding is in the dryer and I'm gonna stick my towels and my robe in the washing machine. So when I do my laundry, I really like to wash like things together. So I'll have a day where I wash all of my workout clothes and I'll do a load of dark workout clothes and a load of colored workout clothes. And then when I do my sheets, I like to also do my towels. It just makes me feel like I'm in a good rhythm and I know the schedule of all of my different items that need to be washed. dishes are put away and I just have a couple other items that we used from lunch and a snack that we had that I'm gonna stick in the dishwasher and the kitchen is closed until dinner and the best part is I have the rest of my crock pot soup in the fridge so I don't need to cook again for dinner so it's gonna be an easy cleanup You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel loved You saved me from the broken house that I built You took me in with open arms and I still I want you back, back, want you back, back, back some say that love don't hurt, but I got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. In love at 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I got you stuck in my memory. to do can't you save my soul can't you save my soul can't you mend my heart can't you mend my heart I want you back back want you back 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 yeah I want you back back want you back 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 some say that love don't hurt but I got you stuck in my memory some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be In love at 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back Cause I've got you stuck in my memory Okay, here comes the worst part. I hate putting my duvet into my duvet cover. Even though I tie all of the corners of the comforter to the duvet cover, you would think it would be pretty easy to make sure it's evenly spread through the cover, but shaking it out feels honestly like a workout. Waiting for this is the, this is the call that you Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. 
Finishing making my bed, I don't know about you, but I love the smell and feel of fresh sheets that come out of the washing machine and dryer, and I just want to jump in and take a nap, but I'm fighting that urge. I'm going to finish it up and put all of my throw pillows on and continue with my cleaning. Oh, we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. I am pretty exhausted from all of the cleaning, but I have to say my entire apartment feels so fresh and smells so clean. All of the surfaces are wiped off, the floors are clean, nothing's out of place. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.